right welcome back so we are out here with the max slash got all the tires glued up only the one tire had come off the bead but i re-glued all of them front and back let it dry for about a week because we can only run here on sundays so we're going to get this thing all set up to try another speed pass Make sure it's zeroed out because people for some reason think you can cheat that, which I understand why. You can put it in your real car, turn on the GPS, drive 100 miles an hour, save the data, come back and cheat it. It just doesn't seem worth it. You're just cheating yourself at that point. Trying to get the steering to go straight. So I just looked it over and uh, glued the tires. Now I store this car upside down just so the tires don't get flat spots in them. It's something good to do with uh, RCs that you're going to be doing speed runs even bashing tires because when they get out around you get a lot of vibration out of them I have to wait till Sunday to do these speed runs. It's the only time this road is absolutely quiet When you're trying to drag it out really long You can't really predict when cars are going to be showing up So we're going to try the top of this hill This is good. I can see the light down there We're just going to whip it around. And go for it. Let off early just because of that car. It was still picking up speed. Hopefully the second run we can uh, get it full out. It's, it's really floaty in the front. It's really got a bad like steering control at whatever speed this is. Stop, read, 84 miles an hour. I'm a little shaky off my first pass for today. Track, start, we're testing. Car always comes in the middle of your speed run. Motor's still nice and cool. We're gonna try to get another hit right away. You have to really control the throttle because the front, when it's not on the ground, you can't steer it. And I'm trying to keep it off that curb. Pulling right really bad. Nope. That car coming. Had a car on each end. Every time I started to squeeze the trigger, there was a car. That wasn't fast at all. Security showing up to USPS. Stop. Read, yeah, 75. 
I couldn't get on it at all. Track, start, testing. Motor's got to be hot. Uh, it's not too bad. It's got some temp to it, but nothing I would be concerned with. Keeps going right. So far, both passes, I've had a car in the road. Maybe I should get down here, get lined up and look. No car, one coming out of the driveway. I almost went. Same car that, that was on the last pass in my way, came out of that same driveway. Because it wants to roll down the hill. All right, Let's see if we can keep it straight. I didn't keep it straight at all. About three quarters trigger is all I can get out of it, trying to keep it straight. I mean, I'm using this whole four lane road, five lanes if you count that center. Stop, read. God, that was only 80 miles an hour. Do we have a tire coming undone? Like it's all over the place. Tires look okay. Motor temp still okay. I just cannot keep it straight. Let's track and try one more. Track, start, testing. I'm gonna turn up uh, the gyro I've had it off I've got it about a quarter of the way up hopefully that'll kind of control it a little bit so I can squeeze it a little little faster batteries are going to be low so we're going to lose about eight miles an hour It's just, it's just all over the place. I'm gonna have to add some weight to the front of it. I didn't even get to half trigger. I think the tires are literally ballooning too much right now. I don't wanna turn up uh, the gyro too much, right at 70. 
at 70 it's controllable so Traxxas is right with these tires that uh, that they're good for 70 let's get out of the road there's a lost lost truck coming try turning up uh, the multi-function a little more oh car coming out of that driveway he's just sitting watching what I'm doing he'll probably come out when I start running See, it goes right. Every time I pull that trigger, it goes right. I think what I really need to do is uh, is lock up uh, the front diff a little more. So I'm gonna make some changes to the suspension. I gotta make some changes to the suspension. We're gonna let this thing cool down. I've done multiple back-to-back -back runs. And the motor's still kicking. See, I have this set to going right. And it's still, every time, you can see it's cogging a little bit because the motor's a little warm. Not overheating, but it's warm. But the ESC's got power. The motor's got the power. The gearing, we're gonna be in the 90s. Could have swore I would have got to 90 by now. But I think uh, the tires are my limiting factor at this point. But there we go, I'm gonna let this thing cool down. And not sure if I'm gonna make another hit. I'm gonna check these batteries. And uh, that could be the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next video. But there we go. We're going to keep pushing. And, uh, and see how this thing does. I'm not getting a vibration out of the front. It's just not steering. It's, it, the tires are literally ballooning too much, even though they're belted. And, you know, people were saying you can go to GRPs or go to foams. Problem is the height of the tire. They're a lot smaller. And if I put them on here, we're going to lose mile per hour. The ballooning effect right now is helping me if I can keep it under control. See, motor's at 140 degrees. 150 degrees right now. Which still isn't bad, back-to-back -back runs see what the ESC is ESC is at 101 the can itself on this motor hundred and forty it's cooling down hundred and forty three is the hottest right now you can still hold your hand on it it's not burning your hand but it is a little warm so I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool down it's hard to do those back to back to back runs and expect this thing to be okay batteries aren't even aren't even struggling but I'm gonna see what the voltage is per cell if we're still at 410 412 which I doubt we're probably gonna be somewhere around 40 a cell I'll have to call it but if they're 410, I'll make some more hits. We'll see. Thanks for watching.